What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about Mid-Year Mayhem, which was announced today by Zoss. I will link all this information down in the description below if you would like to read over it for yourself. But it begins uh, Thursday, February the 17th at 10 a.m. Eastern and runs until Tuesday, March the 1st. Of course, if this is the first time you've ever uh, participated in Mid-Year Mayhem, all you have to do is visit the Crown Store to acquire the Mayhem Quest. Of course, then you can travel to your Alliance War Faction's main gate in Cyrodiil, use the Alliance War menu, or your battleground camps outside of major cities to start this. You will find, of course, the NPC there and continue the quest. If you did complete it last year, you won't need to do it again this year. You complete this uh, quest or uh, receive your scroll. You can enjoy, uh, enjoy a two-hour 100% XP buff in Alliance War, Imperial City, or battlegrounds with that scroll. That scroll is not going to be in your mementos or your tools. It's actually going to be in your inventory. If you do misplace it, you can go back to that NPC to pick up another scroll. But I've had questions in the past and years or years past with the videos when I've talked about mid year mayhem. This only works in PvP, so only in Alliance War, Imperial City, or battlegrounds. You cannot use this scroll for double XP in PVE areas only those pvp zones this will give you alliance points uh, gained and of course xp for pvp player kills uh, what, when it comes to what you can expect to get from the event uh, there's some new things they've added this year the new black drake clan uh, clan wrap style pages which are dropped by imperial city sweepers and bosses and also the black drake body and face uh, markings which are dropped by bosses within the imperial city some other things you can expect to get, of course, we've had some of these in the years past, the Legion Zero uh, outfit style pages, which will come from bosses and sweepers inside Imperial City, and the Mayhem's Victor's Laurel Wreath, which is what you get for completing all of the achievements within, of course, Mid-Year Mayhem. So you'll have to complete the entire list of achievements to be able to receive that Mayhem Victor's Laurel Wreath. Now, if you are new to the game, you don't really play a lot of PvP, the Imperial City DLC is free and it is in the Crown Store, so you can definitely get that. Uh, of course, that was something that came out with the game very early on when the game was first released. And over the last few years, it has been free now, so it is free to everyone. Uh, so if you'd like to pick up that Imperial City DLC pack, you can definitely do that for free. And if you're trying to get the achievements done, you will have to have that Imperial City DLC to complete all of those achievements. There also will be boon boxes available during the event, which give you, uh, you know, different kind of rewards. And you can get these rewards from, or these boon boxes from doing things like Battleground Quest, Scout, Battle, Warfront, and Conquest missions, Elder Scrolls Capture and Recapture Quest, uh, Town Quest in places like Bruma or Cropsford and so on within Cyrodiil, also Imperial City Daily Quest. Inside the boon boxes, you can get things like Tevlar Stones, uh, Cyrodiil Repair Kits, Soul Gems, alchemy ingredients, an item for your alliance armor style, an item for the Akavari armor style, a cold harbor siege weapon, a mayhem book furnishings, a forward camp for your alliance, a chapter of your alliance's armor motif or possibly even the entire book, a prismatic rune stones, a chapter of the Akavari armor motif or possibly even the entire book, transmute geodes, and containers with two tradable rune boxes for the black drake body and face marking. So there's a lot of different rewards you can get within this. And I know a lot of you out there may not be huge fans of PVP. Uh, this event, believe me, is definitely, there's a lot of PVE players that go participate in it. Uh, my favorite, of course, always to go in and play in Battlegrounds. I'm not a huge fan of Cyrodiil anymore like I used to be in the past, but there's a lot of different ways. You can even go down in the sewer with a group of friends and have a really good time and actually get a lot of good rewards. So if you're kind of worried about playing PVP, find a group of friends, maybe in your guild or something, and kind of go out, have fun and don't have to stress about it too much. Throughout the event, harvesting nodes within Cyrodiil and Imperial City provide double their regular resources. Additionally, the Cyrodiil merchant, the Golden, will update her stock to contain legendary quality Alliance War Jewelry with necklaces for sale during the first weekend and rings during the second. Of course, the event would not be complete without having event tickets. Uh, during the event, you can earn up to three tickets per day by completing two different PVP activities. Two tickets come from your first Cyrodiil or Battleground repeatable quest you do each day. And also one ticket is if you complete a district daily from the Imperial City. So you'll have to get either do some Cyrodiil or Battleground repeatable quest and one district daily quest from Imperial City to get your three tickets daily. This means you can earn up to 39 uh, tickets in the event before it ends. Once you've gathered a healthy collection of tickets, a total of 12, make sure you don't have any more on you before you start the event because if you have 12 you will not be able to gain anymore so make sure you're spending those 
Of course, at the event, vendor will have things like the Soulfire Dragon Illusion Pet Fragments and all the different fragments available there. Also, the fragments for the Akatosh skin. Also, the Black Drake Clan Wrap Outfit Style Pages. The Body Markings and Face Markings. Bag of Veterans Glory, which contains a collectible of things uh, that aren't kind of in mid-year mayhem. This year, there'll be things from you know past years. And this event, of course, is your opportunity to pick up the second fragment for the Scales of Akatosh Skin Morphing Collectible. And that is pretty much it, guys, for the event itself. Like I said, if you'd like to kind of read over all of these details for yourself, they will be linked down in the description below so you can check those out. But leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going to be participating in this year's Mid-Year Mayhem. There's only a thing that happens kind of usually twice a year is how often Zoss does it. Usually once kind of at the beginning, maybe kind of towards the end of the year or middle, you know, midsummer. So this is kind of an event that I know a lot of PvP fans really enjoy. But it also can be very enjoyable if you're just a PvE fan. You can get a lot of good stuff out of this. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.